Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Munn, and this is going to be more Inscription. And I just realized that before I hit record, I didn't change the date, but it is the very next day from the last time I recorded. Let me change that to 1 8. And um, there we go. Okay. I'll have a brand new system, hopefully, by the time I'm recording again in a week's time. Um, but that won't be relevant to inscription because I'm going to try and finish it in this sitting. Now, what I'm doing right now is I am looking at the game, I'm looking at the cards, I'm refreshing myself from yesterday and thinking about, like, if I start, if I start chewing up cards, where are my problems? Um, Fishbot is a pretty good healthy card for three, but he doesn't do a lot of damage. I figure if I'm going to do an upgrade, I might do it on Fishbot the next time. I was thinking that... If there were some cards I definitely wanted out of my deck, not only could I trade them to Poe when he asks, but I could also, um, I could also charge them with the dollars and then basically have them die and fall out of my deck. I feel like my deck is too hodgepodge, like I don't have enough control over it. That's not the same way I felt when I was playing Leshy. But in any event... Um, we are... I gotta remember that I move with the arrow keys. Let's see, I think I'm gonna start aiming towards the mage tower. Okay, that's... Gamer Mike with lots of ones asks, six billion secrets? Six billion secrets? I don't know that that many secrets exist, Mike. What are you talking about? I think it's neat I got a first notification on you. That's neat. Welcome to the party. It's fixed. You can go on your merry way. And we fight. Alright, time to refresh. Get that rust off from yesterday. Alright, we got overcharged alarm bot. That'll do three damage and has a health. Alright, my vessels give me an energy now, which means I will have an energy left, but I won't be able to play a card. So we're still starting out the same way, but we're getting our max value up higher. Imagine. Imagine the secrets. I can imagine the secrets. Okay, gift bot. Gift bot seems like a good play. Forgot Giftbot can transform into a Wolfie. What do we got up here? Bifurcated Strike. I... Oh. I can get my double gunner a little quicker. Okay, first of all, block. Secondly, block. I have an energy left, but I can't really use it on anything. Alright, just trying to win a basic encounter. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that win is planned, question mark? That should be enough to win me, right? No? Yeah, sure, be a bomb. Forgot that was my Skelebot. Damn, I gotta put... Okay, well, you gotta not die. That's that's your whole thing. Actually, I don't... Draw a card? Okay. Let's see here. Do no damage on you. Alright, so this is just about doing damage. Because I win. I win. Money! Trade a card. Alright, if I were to trade a card, what would I trade?
I could trade some regular skeleton, but regular skeleton is some of my base damage. You know what? Look, we're not trading a card. That's not what I meant. Oh, hold on, wait. I didn't do this one chest. Okay, I think what I found out is that these icons mean plus mox damage. And these thing means your mox explodes. So let's see if I can count to three. Um, if this dude dies, which it doesn't, so this should be no damage. Um... Which takes out this Mox card. Okay. Which would take out this card and this card and this card because they would all explode. So... <laughs> oh no, I have to think. Um, let's see here. Three damage on this would take out the two damage. This would pop... But it wouldn't necessarily do any damage because this would be giving it the energy, so... Or does it make this card explode? I don't actually know... I, I wish Poe had a book in his room so I could look up these icons. But how does this get to three? If I move this up, what do I get? Still three, so that didn't... so that's irrelevant. I can't, I can't move that one. I can move that one. So this is doing all the damage. Does it explode on itself? Hmm. Let's see here. <laughs> the problem with these things is I know I can brute, brute force them, but I want to understand them. So if I move this away... That doesn't do any damage. So something about this versus that. Okay, so this isn't making a difference. So what over here is causing three damage? Wait, does attacking this make your mocks explode? Because that would make this mox explode, which could take out this, which would allow this three damage in. Is that what's happening? In that case, we need to move this. That's two hit points. But it's one attack, so this should be four? That should be four. Um... If this explodes, then this would take this out? Maybe? Maybe it would take that out? So, this isn't making any difference. Hmm. What about that? What about this? Yeah, it's still getting taken out. So this is doing one damage. That's doing two damage. This part makes sense. That doesn't hit through that. So that doesn't do any damage. And that doesn't hit through that, so that doesn't do any damage. Okay. So the only things I can really change are at the bottom of the board. So that's... well that's doing zero. That's doing one, so that's doing two? That's doing two. So I need more of these things to explode. So this is doing one. That's still doing one. That's still doing four. So this is causing these two to explode, I think, and take and be taken out. 
which is causing this three to get through. Wait, hold on. That's so this one exploding takes this the adjacent one out. So. can't move sideways all right well all right once again coming back to it let me go towards the mage oh let me get a new card also I finally got my bounty of one okay I'm picking up the Insectodrome because I'm going to go back a step and trade the Insectodrome. I'm sorry. Oh! This is actually a recycling location. It's better than getting a new one. Makes your deck more consistent. Give it Robobucks for it. Oh. Uh, well, I don't want the Insectodrome, really. Is there anything else that really jumps out as me as, like, a bad card that I don't want? Not really. Maybe a 3 power will get me something. $4? It's not terrible. Oh, I gotta remember this uh, crystal thing that'll give everybody shields. Okay, so a recycling spot on the map is not a trade, it is actually a destruction of card. I have one energy available, and yet you have played six energy on your turn. You cheating bitch. Alright, let's see here. I can't attack I can't defend against flying, so I have to defend against this guy. He attacked himself, he got smacked for it. Alright, I have three energy for Sonya. I think Sonya turns into something that blocks flying. But regardless. One attack should do it. One more damage is going to get through. Flying is going to attack over me. That's going to put me in a compromised position. That's going to be two more. And a bounty hunter. Thought you'd seen the last of Blast McMoon, did you? Think again. Okay, that is not a good showing on my part. Alright. I should get... Well, no, because Giftbot transforms. So... So Giftbot should go here. I might need to smack Vessel. You block Aerial, so this won't be attacking directly. Um, Let's see what I get. Double Gunner, not actually helpful right now. I got enough for both Skeleton and Giftbot because my empty vessels are doing energy. So, you block here. You go into this space. That's my actual Skeleton that won't come back. Then you block the damage. Okay, so... Doing a damage, taking out these two cards, and then not taking any damage. So I'm still in a bad position, but I'm not in an untenable position. Thought there was some red on there for a second. Okay, let me see here. Uh, currently Wolfie is going to attack Automatron. 
Okay, I need two defensive cards, and I have only energy six cards. So I think... Oh, hold on, I got it. That's why the Skele Latcher is here. Em Wait, but Empty Vessel can't block the air. So putting down a card to block the air wouldn't actually do anything. Um... It's irrelevant to put that empty vessel in front. Um, because it won't block it, and it won't do damage. So... Uh, I gotta pay attention to my cards. Well, he'll take a damage. Oh, wait, that's fine. Because I can make it so that when he... No, wait, no. Let's explode. But I'm not... Alright. We got what we got. Oh, except for Skelebot can't make him fragile. I can make him explode, though. If I place him here, he's going to jump in front. How many hit points do I have? Three hit points? I can't play I can't play that anyway. Oh, I've I've royally messed up. What's up, Alex? Okay, so this gets killed, I take three damage. One, two, three, I don't die. Okay, one, two, three, I don't die. Um, wait, what? Why do I have an alarm bot? Double gunner can help. One second. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I missed the click. I am so sorry that got through. It was happening right at the last moment there. That was a very that was a very mild sneeze for me. Oh yes, I did have a gift bot. You're right, Alex. I was worried for a second. Sorry, I'm having some rust because this is the next day. Yes, I wish my finger wasn't covering up this total here, but I believe that is two damage. Okay, so if I lay down the alarm bot, this will make this two damage, which won't get through. And... Well, actually, it won't matter, because it'll be hit for one, it'll die. Then this dude will attack Skelly Latcher, which I can put on Blast McMoon. He will blow up and blow up the dude next to him. So I think I just laid... Okay, if I did this right, I think I laid get double gunner center. Alex, I need better words. Alright, you could kill the guy. You mean the you mean the bounty hunter. Right. If I put if I put double gunner here, I would shoot here, I would shoot there, kill the guy, he would explode, he would explode, kill the guy next to him. Um if I put down the alarm bot over here. 
then it will attack one time straight. I will get attacked over the top, but on the next turn, it could attack and... and Yeah. Couldn't find a word. But the words are all over the place. Um, so... Yeah. Before I draw a card. Amiibot has a shield. I think... If, oh wait no 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 hold on hold on hold on Alex hold on actually if I lay down the double gunner moon jumps so I actually need to lay like a me bot down and or I could lay alarm bot down You take a recharge? Uh, it seems a little bit early for that. I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build up and get to tougher stuff. But if I put down a me bot, which looks like he's gonna do uh, shield stuff, then I can put down a me bot. I could put okay. If I put down alarm bot, it ju he jumps in and he jumps over here. Then I could put a me bot over here. I could put them both down on the same turn, which would allow me to do actual damage. Skelebot, Skelebot isn't you. I mean, not the way I originally play, played him. Oh, no! This one comes back into my hand and can trigger anybody to uh, explode when they're hit. So, I think I think I have a play. You move over there. You move back over here. Oh wait, I'm just gonna charge up this attack in myself because I'm attacking the air. All right, well hold on. I'm doing one two. Destruction, one two. Then I'm going to take two, so I'm going to be back to where I was a second ago. Place a bomb on the skeleton Latcher? Sure. We'll see how it goes. Place the bomb on the skeleton Latcher? What bomb? Let's see here. Gotcha, man. I'll be taking that scalp another day. You ain't seen the last of Blast McMoon. Actually, mathematically speaking, I probably have. Two direct damage. Okay, now I can play Double Gunner. Which will explode and take out the Exectodrone. And then immediately get ganked by the other double gunner. Or I could... Yeah. I, I do have the option for nano armor, but I don't think I need it right now. Um, If I put double gunner here... Then this attack will go off, this attack... Well, this attack goes off regardless of anything I do. So actually, what I need is I need to place Double Gunner center. These two Double Gunners will basically get into a fighting contest. And when this guy explodes, I might be able to brittle the other Double Gunner. I don't think so, though. I don't think I'll be given that opportunity. That's unfortunate. Hold on. One part of that doesn't work. Attack, attack. He explodes. I won't have any cards to attach to. Oh, well, no, I'll be able to attach to Alarm Bot. No, it's good.
I guess I... Oh, wait. I can do it before he attacks? So he's taking damage, but... He had armor a second ago. Oh, but I can't pick him. I can aim at him, but I can't pick him. Alright, Shieldbot doing some damage. Um... Shieldbot taking one of the hits, possibly. I don't want to have to lay a... Well, I could have laid a bomb on somebody. Oh well. Over damage. Uh, by one. Damn, I should have counted that out. Gone for it next time. Watch checkpoint. Items are back online. Bot spawners are offline. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I don't actually want to go that way. What do you say though? What is it? What do you want? I am merely an inspector. Oh, I remember you, Inspector Bot. What's up? And you've given me a lot of files to inspect. You wish to pass through this gate? Try inspecting the satellite dish at the foot of the wizard tower. All right, so we're going with definitely Wizard Tower right now. All right, we got mocks going on. Yep. Oh no. Yep. I forgot a piece. You have you have legs. Stand up and get it. It's in the smelter room, floating above the smelting machine. I can't let you go any further until you have it. Well, I can't go anywhere right now, Alex. Smelter room, huh? I haven't gotten this option yet. I gotta remember power up, sniping, 1-1, one, one, 2 energy. Excuse me, sir? I saw that. What I need is my Ouroboros. That'd be great. No, Alex, stop asking spoilery thing. Like, find a different way to phrase your question. I, I know what you're asking, but, like, just because I've seen the game doesn't mean anybody else watching hasn't seen the game. <laughs> Why do you do this? This is, like, the fourth day. I love that you're here, man, but, like, word it differently. <laughs> Oh, that's where New Game is. He's locked it in a box like he's Scott Cawthon. That's exactly the light that's behind the door in Leshy's cabin. Except it's in a freaking box that you can't look at right now. That's where New Game is. If if you go to the start screen, you can't you can't do New Game again. And it's because just like Leshy, he's locked it away. It's in that box. I see dude over here, in case you missed him the first time. He's in a pipe. Hello, camera. Where did he tell me to go? Am I going the wrong way? Or did I autosave before he told me to do this? I autosave before he told me to do this. My bad. Alright, now this door is open. Hey, dude! 
poke. Greetings! The pain? Bearable! The pressure of these pipes surrounding me feels nice. That and the knowledge that the master is near. Magnificus is near. Oh yes, the master is near. I feel his presence. That robot will rue the day. The pain bearable. All right, the pain bearable. Yes. Okay, you got nothing more for me right now. Oh, hello. Uh, skull push wing. <laughs> skull push. Now you're scared to ask what I did last? Well, you can ask what I did last, and then I can tell you. So, I have defeated the Uberbot in, uh, in... Leshy's Forest is the last thing I did. The first thing I did was I defeated the, uh, the Uberbot in Grimora's, uh, graveyard. Um... The Archivist, I think, was the one in the graveyard? Hold on. Was it... I'm trying to remember from earlier in the playthrough. Was it... Push Skull something else? Oh, there's Wang. Damn. Hold on. Maybe I had it right. Push. Can I? I, it, I can only turn these one directions. You won't get them. You don't have the answer. I mean... I think that is rel... I think there is one of the poles if you remembered off of previously. Select all applicable motions for the following scenarios. You draw an energy, but you have full energy. Meh. You're about to die from in a... Wait, hold on. Why am I doing this? Ask yourself that question. You're about to die from an insected drone. You draw a leap bot. Uh, oh, maybe happy? You successfully perform the great transcendence. Yeah, sure. I am not a robot. <laughs> I hate these things. Um, 12? Um, 4, 8, 4. Um, 2, 5... Uh, six or eleven. Okay. Why is is the camera key right now? We'll we'll get there, Alex. I'm planning on finishing today. Which sigil is represented? Uh, this one. Which sigil is represented? This one. Which sigil is represented? I think that's the arrows? Yep. Waiting for network. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I've learned never to wait on the network. What was I doing? I skipped over it the second time and I forgot what he told me. So this is Magnificus's area because there's books floating there. I wish I could open up the rule book and look at things. Oh wait, there's a thing. I remember now. I have to get the I have to get the mox thing. Where is it? Ah. Now I get to learn about Mox. Or relearn about Mox. Yep, good. Let's attach it. This thing lights up when you have Gem Vessels cards in play. Your empty vessels are now filled with gems. Check it out. 
Excuse me? The other one. Thank you, Music Q. You can change the color of the gems you draw from your side deck. Neat. Try it. Press 1. Okay. I did it. Alright, well, on that note, for anybody who might be watching later on the YouTubes, I thank you for watching. This has been Inscription presented by Improvision Entertainment. I've been Hunter Mun, and I will see you in the future in which we go into the magical tower area that is an uberbot and clearly not Magnificus instead. Later.